Millions of gallons of diesel fuel are used on Washington's waterways every single year. Right now, in fact, there is an effort to decrease that, making the Pacific Northwest a leader in the U.S. in electrifying water transportation. Tonight, in the final installment of our special series, State of the Sound, King 5's Kylie Greenberg shows us two projects shaping the transformation. A city shaped by water is inspiration for innovation. This can be the boat that achieves everything that people set out to do on the water. Enhancing an experience. When I hit the acceleration with the electric motors, you'll just feel it take off on you. Seattle is a place where Andy Rebelly sees opportunity. It's bringing boats back to where they should be. Meet the Pure Pontoon Boat, manufactured by Seattle-based Pure Watercraft. I started this company to build the product that I really wanted. Reveille leads the company headquartered on the shore of Lake Union. This boat's engine is completely electric, meaning no fuel, no emissions. There are two things people notice. They can't hear it and they can't see the outboard motor. It's an industry taking off. Pure Watercraft is building a facility in Tukwila to manufacture boats and outboard motors. It recently received a $150 million investment from car manufacturer General Motors, the largest investment a company has ever made in electric boating. Seattle's really at the forefront of making this transformation. Do you think that there's a case for that? Seattle certainly is in the center of it, and it should be in the center of it. We've got water flowing through the center of our city. Department of Ecology records show since 2015, recreational vessels have spilled nearly 15,000 gallons of fuel. However, the department believes there are many spills not reported, meaning the number is likely higher. The drops and the cup here and the cup there, they add up. It never goes away. Aaron Barnett runs Washington Sea Grant. They study the challenges facing Washington's ocean and coasts. One of the key jobs is to educate recreational boaters about small oil spills, a problem eliminated by electric motors. It's a step in the right direction. What do you mean by that, the right direction? When I say right direction, I mean using technology that's more efficient, that's more applicable, that makes more sense, that doesn't create the impacts that we see with oil spill discharge. <laughs> Rebelli says right now pontoons are the most popular boat on the market. Pure Watercraft's electric motor is designed to have enough charge to enjoy a day on the water. Dual motors allow it to travel up to 23 miles per hour. However, electrification isn't for everything. Battery technology can be large and relies on predictable schedules to ensure there's time to recharge. A really good fit for electric propulsion is something that does a regular run of a fixed length. What Reveille is describing is something on a predictable set schedule, like the Washington State Ferry System. It's one of the larger consumers of fuel on Washington's water. It's an ideal system for electrification. Innovation, I think, now is a necessity. We have a real opportunity to make an impact here, setting an example for the rest of the country. Since 2017, Matt Von Ruden and his team have been working to transform Washington State Ferries, which use 19 million gallons of diesel every year. Much of the change will happen deep inside the vessel's engine, which is so loud you have to wear hearing protection. This is the one of two propulsion motors. What we want to do is replace two of the four diesel engines with big battery banks drive them like a hybrid vehicle, and eventually bring electricity from the shore and charge the batteries that way. Funding of $1.3 billion launched two projects. The first builds new hybrid electric vessels. The second transforms the state's largest ships, which travel between Seattle, Bainbridge, and Bremerton into hybrid vessels. We think 95% of the time we'll be running in battery electric mode, so no diesel exhaust. No rumbling noises of the engine, it'll be electric. Here's a look at how the battery, which will be much quieter, will get power. Von Ruden calls it a robotic arm. We need to bring the electricity from these black structures to the vessel. It will be at the dock and plug into the ship as passengers get on and off. For us, it's just the perfect situation because from the mountains, we have hydroelectric power, renewable electricity. And so that's what kind of all comes together. The maturity of the lithium ion batteries, availability of the renewable electricity, and then the distance is about right where even for our Seattle the Bremerton run it's achievable. The innovation is pushing boating into the future one with less noise cleaner water and air. The reasons people go out on a boat they want to connect with nature and they want to connect with family and friends. 
they don't want to go out and do harm to the environment. They want to connect with it. And this is a better way to connect with nature than any other boat before. Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.